interesting parallel here, and it comes from Stephen Ratner, of course, formerly of the Treasury, helped with the auto bailout of Washington. He says Europe needs a complete restructuring of its auto industry. It's suffering. It needs to get smaller. He says the car industry rattles on old Europe's roads. And right now, with the current structure, he says the lack of a sufficient, robust central government authority makes establishing anything that even faintly resembles Mr. Obama's auto task force unimaginable gives his advice there what stood out to me about this is that you often hear that Europe's banks are in worse shape than American banks and they don't really have the infrastructure here it's not just the banking industry it's the auto industry and it's a lot of other issues that when you hear mm. Europe yeah not one monetary and political authority Here's how it's impacting the lack the of a sector. robust central authority is a big theme for anything in Europe, not just banks, Absolutely. as you mentioned. Well, my morning must read has to do with recalibrating the conventional wisdom, the new normal, really, because there's been some conflicting U.S. economic data of yes. late. Uh, durable goods was terrible. Consumer confidence looks better. So Sharon Poxter of Cornell University writes that the apparent inconsistency, inconsistency, there you go, of rising consumer confidence at the same time as the momentumless labor market suggests that expectations have been recalibrated to the new low growth equilibrium. In other words, the new normal. So when we do get better than expected reads on economic data, like if jobs comes out better, for instance, it doesn't mean that intermittent growth has been achieved. It's a little fuzzier than that. Really, she's saying it's just relief that the weak economy is stabilizing. We're working yeah, on this I, low base I, and just puttering along there. 